I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Orsin, Montenegro. And in this Montenegro travel vlog, we'll be winding and dining our way through Ulsin. We'll sample the local food, explore the Ulsin Old Town and visit the Ulsin beaches. We've just arrived in the town of Ulsin, Montenegro and I'm really liking the city so far. Everyone we've met has been so friendly and hospitable towards us and it's a really pretty city. I find the old town really charming. It's, it's quite rustic so it isn't done up as much as other old towns that you see in Budva or Tor or Dubrovnik for example in Croatia. It's a lot more pared back and I, I think that gives it a, a bit of charm. mainly full of restaurants and really nice restaurants and there's some accommodation too. Another thing that I really like about Ulsin is that all the restaurants in the old town here are locally run and operated. We're at a restaurant called Antigona and this is one of the best restaurants in Ulsin. It's got a perfect position for sunset views or waterfront views if you want to dine during the day, which we are. The terrace here is on the water, it's got expansive views over the waterfront and it's just really pleasant. When you're in Montenegro, make sure you have the seafood. We're on the Adriatic coast here. All the seafood is so fresh and it's just so delicious. So we got this massive plate of different types of seafood. It was 55 euro. This is really tasty. Prepared for us and filleted for us at our table. And it came out in this massive plate boy. And look at this. We've got fresh fish, we've got mussels, squid, shrimp, so many different things here and then it's got potatoes and other vegetables in there as well. I can see some broccoli. This looks amazing. Ah, oh, don't know where to start. Mm. Mm. It's in this really nice broth. The fish is really nice and tender. It took about 35 minutes to cook and yeah, it's just so good. I, I think we've got our work cut out for us here. This is just an amazing experience. So definitely come to Antigona because of this amazing service, amazing food, amazing views and it's just perfection. restaurant Le Vac at Ulsi and the first thing we've got on sitting down is some of the house liqueur. It's a homemade cherry liqueur and a really nice bonus when you're dining in at a restaurant to get free alcohol. So cheers. Oh yeah that's nice. Restaurant Levac is a family owned business and it's been operating since 1928. It's a very long innings and it's just located near the start of Long Beach. In Montenegro, stewed dishes are quite popular. So I've chosen this uh, stewed dish which has veal and eggplant and okra and some other vegetables mixed in. So the, the traditional name is Kavana Yella and uh, this looks very hearty. It's a tomato based dish. I really like the eggplant and the veal's really nice too. Uh, it was only eight euro for all of this, so excellent value. We're really enjoying eating out at restaurants in Montenegro and a lot of them have these really nice veranda areas with vine leaves covering you to provide a bit of shade and it's really just great atmosphere as well. Some traditional music playing in the background and yeah, it's just lovely. So seafood is very popular in Montenegro all along the coast. We have some squid, it's also known as ligne in the traditional language. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. And in a lot of restaurants in Montenegro, bread is free, which is quite handy. Sometimes you have to pay, so you do have to check um, generally. But they also provide 
vinegar and olive oil to dip your bread in so that's a nice treat so this squid looks amazing it comes with fries and some vegetables a little bit of rice and a squeeze of lemon and all of this was only 11 euro so I'm looking forward to seeing how it tastes mm. Mm. so we started having the grilled squid in Croatia and we've continued that on in Montenegro and we are absolutely addicted to it it's just so tasty not too chewy very fresh and yeah the way they prepare it on the grill is just really nice so I highly recommend trying it if you're in the Balkans breakfast time in Montenegro and we have a, an amazing spread here of traditional Montenegrin food. There's a large Muslim influence here because the neighboring country Albania is a Muslim country. So we also have a lot of Turkish influences in particular uh, and this is Turkish coffee so it's a black coffee it's very sweet and it looks really rich and delicious. Oh, yeah. I don't often like black coffee, but if it's done well, then it is superb, and that is done well. I, it's only a euro, so I was surprised that it is a full cup of coffee like that. For that good quality, for that price, is just amazing. So the dishes that we have here today, this is a hemada. So this is a traditional Montenegrin dish. It's got egg, prosciutto, it's got some potatoes, which are done fry style, some cheese, tomato, and cucumber. And then this is prikonitsa. So this is one of the must have breakfast items in Montenegro. It's basically like donuts or fritters, and we've got a little bit of cheese in here. So really light and airy, very crispy on the outside. That looks amazing. That was only two euro fifty. That was two euro fifty. And the Domino breakfast. So we're at Domino restaurant. This Domino breakfast was five euro. And look how much food there is. There's three eggs. There's three lots of prosciutto. There's salami, fries tomato, cucumber and cheese as well. So all of this looks absolutely amazing. And then we've got some bread here as well. So all of this is only 11 euro. I'm very happy about this. And we were worried we weren't gonna get fed enough with just the fritters, but like this is so much food, we're not gonna need lunch. This is the Prikonitsa. Uh, yeah, so it's a really light, fluffy, ball of goodness yeah so you can see a big pocket of air in there yeah so this is a really delicious dough uh, comes with a bit of cheese as well so you can get them sweet or savory you can get them with honey you can get them with cheese and they're really a breakfast staple here in Montenegro mm. okay I think I've got a bite here of everything on the hemadak Yeah, this is a really hearty breakfast and in Montenegro all the cured meats, the hams, the prosciutto are really delicious and are very common in all meals throughout the day. So definitely try the hemanak, try the dried meats when you're in Montenegro because they're delicious. There are plenty of beaches to choose from in Ulsing. Small Beach is the main beach in the town of Ulsing and can get quite crowded during the day. On the other side of the old town are the beaches Limon 1 and Limon 2, which are smaller still. However, we preferred these as they were a quieter alternative. Ulsing is also right next to the longest stretch of beach in Montenegro, Velika Plaja, also known as Long Beach. This is Long Beach and it's named very appropriately because it's a very long stretch of sand. Now this is more of a black sand beach, which is nice because the black sand makes it really nice and warm underfoot. 
It is quite windy here though and I believe this is typically a windy area because there are wind farms nearby and kite surfing around here is quite popular if you're interested in that. It does get all this sand blown into your face sometimes unless you find somewhere that's a little bit protected from the wind but there are a lot of beach clubs so if you do like just sitting on a deck chair under an umbrella then it's really good for that. It's got some great places to swim and yeah it's a really nice place to come. Our accommodation in Ilsing was at Jetmere Apartments. It had a luxurious feel, was in a quiet neighbourhood and was outstanding value at 20 euro a night. Jetmere was a wonderful host and we highly recommend staying here when in town. We'll pop a link to his property in the description for you. We hope you enjoyed our Ulsin travel vlog. If you did, please give it a like and leave us a comment. If you'd like to follow us on our bucket list adventures around the world, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. We are bucket list travellers. See you next time.